Hello everyone, welcome to the Innovation Lab. So this is going to be the second episode of our lab updates. And in this episode, we're going to explore the different methods that we can use to measure or calculate the loop current that is flowing through our DIY test setups or DIY projects. All right, my friends, let's get started. T minus five, four, three, two, one. Booster ignition and liftoff of Discovery. Hoisting harmony to the heavens and opening new gateways for international science. All right, so there is no rocket science involved in this video. So what we're going to do here is nothing but a simple application of Ohm's law in calculating the loop currents that we're interested in. So for those of us who may not have a science or engineering background, Ohm's law is a law in physics that states that the current flowing through a conductor is proportional to the voltage across that conductor and also inversely proportional to the resistance of the conductor. So expressing Ohm's law in a form of a simple math equation would take the form of V equals I times R, where V is the voltage across the conductor, I is the current going through that conductor, and R is simply the resistance of that conductor. And having this equation in mind, if you're looking for the current across the conductor and you know the voltage across the conductor and the resistance of that conductor, you can find the current by dividing the voltage with the resistance of the conductor. And the same thing applies to the resistance. If you know the voltage across the conductor and the current going through it, you can find the resistance value by dividing the voltage with the currents that you have measured. All right, so when I make these videos, I try to cover as much ground as I can. So what is voltage? What is electrical current? What is resistance? So in this case, a simple definition for voltage is the potential difference across two points or nodes in an electrical circuit. Electrical current, on the other hand, is defined as the rate of flow of electrical charge, in this case electrons, in an electrical circuit. And finally, resistance is defined as the measure of opposition to the flow of electrical current in an electrical circuit. So you can kind of imagine what resistance is when you have water flowing through a pipe and you pinch that pipe, you have created a resistance to the flow of that water. So that is kind of analogous to what resistance represent in an electrical circuit. All right, guys, before we get into it, I'd like to mention that this episode was actually inspired by an issue that I'm having on my uh, current uh, universal charger design. So what I'm really trying to do with the new charger design is to create a very simple design. And that design is going to use this digital power monitor here. So that way we have a comprehensive readout of all the core parameters that we will need when charging our battery or using the unit as a variable output voltage DC power supply. So that way when you look at it, you have your voltage readout, you have your current readout, your power and also the accumulated energy readout. Also, the idea behind the design is that all the power that's gonna come out of this unit will have to go through a solid state relay and that allows me to be able to enable the output that will go to the load so that way we can guarantee some safe operation there. Um, but the major problem that I'm seeing right now is that when I enable the output, I am seeing kind of a deviation between the measured current on the digital power monitor and what we are reading on our uh, clamp meter. So that leaves me some questions in my mind to say, which one is right and which one is wrong. And if both of the devices are measuring the loop current accurately, so could it be that I have to improve the design? So what we're doing here is kind of a way to troubleshoot the system. All right, so the overall goal here is really to conduct an evaluation between our digital current clamp and our digital power monitor so as to know which of these devices are more accurate in measuring the loop current that we have on our test setup. So to be able to do that, what we have done is to add this 0.25 milliohm shunt resistor in line with these two devices. And the idea is to measure the voltage drop across that shunt resistor when we have our load applied. So this is essentially Ohm's law in real practice. So when we have some current flowing through a resistor, we all know that we should expect a voltage drop across that resistor. And if we know the value of the resistor, we can measure the voltage on our DMM. All we have to do is to divide the measured voltage drop on our DMM by the actual resistance value of the shunt. 
and that way we can calculate the loop current that is going through our test setup and after doing that all we now have to do is to compare the calculated loop current value with what we measured on our digital power monitor and also we do the same for what we measured on our current probe so that way we can kind of tell which one is more accurate. And also we're gonna be able to take that the original problem to see if that explains the three to four amps of deviation that we're seeing on the design with load applied. All right, so let's go ahead and turn on the system and we make our measurements. All right, as you guys can see, uh, closing the switch here kind of completes the circuit by bringing in our load. So let's go ahead and look at what we're measuring on all the devices. So right now our load is pulling about 1.05 kilowatts of power going through the digital power monitor. And as you guys can see here, we're measuring a loop current of 29.1 amps. And when we look at the current probe, we are measuring a loop current of 29.87 amps. All right. Now looking at the voltage drop on the DMM and that essentially shows us the voltage drop that is going across the 0.25 milliohm shunt. So right now we're measuring a voltage drop between 0.007 and 0.008 volts. So what I'm going to do there is to split the difference. So we'll call it 0.0075 volts as our voltage drop that is going across the shunt resistor here. All right, so really all we have to do is to write down these numbers and we go back and we do our math. So we will see what will be our calculated loop current that is going through the system right now. All right, as we saw during the test on the digital current clamp, we measure the current value of 29.86 amps and on the digital power monitor, we measure the current value of 29.1 amps. So this means that when we now compare these values with our calculated value that goes through the shunt, which is 30 amps. So we're seeing a measurement accuracy of 99.53% on the current clamp and the measurement accuracy of 97% on the digital power monitor. All right, guys, that's it for this video. I hope you guys learned something from this video. The only thing I will say is that these two devices are kind of very close to each other. The percentage accuracy that we're seeing on the digital power monitor is a little bit worse than I would like. Also, the thing to take note of is as we increase the load on the system, which means we have more loop current going through the system, that percentage error that we're measuring on the digital power monitor is going to even get worse and worse. But as much as this has been fun, and I know we have learned a lot from it, so going back to the original problem that I had, it's clear to me now that it's not even the digital power monitor that is causing that huge deviation that we are seeing. It could have something to do with the voltage drop across the solid state relay that I am using. All right, guys, that's it for this video. I know that this is a question that a lot of you guys have asked me to make a video to show how to measure current using shunts. So when I run into this problem i wanted to use it as an opportunity to explain to you guys how it's done all right my friends i hope you guys enjoyed the video i hope you guys learned something from it if you did don't forget to give us a thumbs up all right my friends i'll see you guys in the next one